Welcome to my Taiwan haul. This is everything I bought in Taiwan in the past five days. Hey guys, this is Zangsa. Today we're gonna do a Taiwan haul. So I've been traveling in Taiwan for the past five days. Today is actually my last day in Taiwan, so I thought I'd do a quick little Taiwan haul of everything I got here, from little knickknacks to clothes to food, and just show you some of the cool things that I found here. I spent the first two days in Taipei, visited a neighboring city called Pingxi, and then spent the last few days here in Tainan. I'm currently staying at a super cute Minsu that opened up like last year in June. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna go through everything in no particular order. So when we were in Pingxi, after we released one of the lanterns into the sky, we went to the neighboring shop, and I got some big chocolates. One in matcha flavor, one in strawberry. These are gonna be great gag gifts for some of my friends. Um, I also bought these really cute little origami fan earrings. I don't know, I'm a big fan of buying a pair of earrings every location I travel because wearing it in the future and seeing it will always remind me of my time here when I bought it. And then I bought this cute little wooden koala bobblehead. I think it can go either on your car or just like in your house. Cute little decorative. Also a gift for a friend. I guess these aren't really gifts, but rather just like photo souvenirs. We went to a shopping district called Simendan. They had these really, really cute photo booths, which a bunch of photo booth props. So these are just some of the photos we took. Very chaotic, but it was very fun. On that same day, we traveled to a little city called Jiufen. They sold a lot of like local little snacks and eateries. And I actually kind of regret not buying more of these, but these are called Dokar. It's soy based. Think of it kind of like as a dry flavored tofu, but like super flavorful, a little bit spicy. I grew up eating something similar back when I lived in Beijing. So this just brings back a lot of good memories. I don't know how healthy it is for you, but Mmm, the taste is just so good. If I see more of this today, I'm gonna try and buy more of it. Next up, we bought a bunch of socks. They're just really cute socks. They were all 150 NTD. I always lose a bunch of socks in my washing machine, so I thought I'd stock up on some socks. Some really, really cute socks. A smiley face sock and little kitty socks. So cute. We went to a Hua Shen 1914 Creative Park and there were some anime exhibitions, including Juju Kaisen. So I bought these like towels, Gojo towel. Also gifts for my anime fanatic friends. Next up, we went to this really nice shopping mall across from the hotel we stayed at, which was W Taipei. I'm actually gonna be making a separate video showing you the hotel we stayed at, but this shopping mall is called Breeze and there's a lot of designer brands, but on the second and third floor are smaller boutique brands. And I got these really nice and comfortable, slightly padded, like undergarment. I bought a bunch of like really high quality undergarments from this Taiwanese local designer brand called Chloe Chen. You know, I thought I'd buy something local to support the local designers, but super, super good quality. And because we're in Asia and I'm Asian, everything just fits a lot better than types of undergarments I would buy in the US. So again, I thought I'd just buy multiple colors while I'm here, while I'm at it. I got this one which is more of a strapless style in white and black. It's like super stretchy. Shall we move on to all the little hats that I copped? These two hats I copped at the same store. I think they were about $7 each, but like super cute and good quality. I feel like the same hat at Urban Outfitters would be maybe double, um, but I got this in a little brown pity bucket hat and then I got this because it was Valentine's Day, I wanted to get a pink hat. It's a little fuzzy pink bucket hat. Also super cute, actually kind of goes with today's outfit. And since we're on hats, might as well go into the other hats that, these I actually bought in Tainan on a very famous and cute historical street called Shenong Street. But they were selling, I don't know if these were made here or if they were imported from Korea, because I noticed a lot of goods were actually imported from Korea, but I bought this little froggy bucket hat because I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear it, but it's just so cute. How could I not? And then I bought another one, same exact one in black. So me and my friends or me and my boyfriend can just go out wearing two froggy hats and just chill. You know, chillin'. Those are the froggy hats. 
I actually had to stop myself for not buying too many baseball hats because there's a lot of baseball dad hats here that are all super cute, super high quality, and super unique, honestly. But I bought a ripped up, this kind of like orange, washed orange hat because I've been wearing a lot of hoodies lately. I feel like this could go with kind of any black or white hoodie. Look pretty cool. In the, in the neighboring shop, or in the same shop that I bought those hats, I actually got some frames as well as sunglasses because I've been wearing the same Warby Parker glasses at night and I kind of want a new one. So here's the new frame that I got here. It's kind of very like Taiwanese style. It's very, very light. So I got those frames. Didn't have time to actually get them fitted with like, the actual lenses, but you know, maybe I could do it back in the States or just not get them fitted at all and just use them as blue light glasses. Got these super cool fashion glasses. You know, I don't know when I'm gonna wear these, but the one thing missing in my wardrobe is accessories. So I can stock up on some accessories here because they're all super cute, really good quality and affordable. Oh, more knickknacks. So in the same street, Shenzhen Street, there was a place that sold like custom keychains as well as a lot of pins. Probably don't know this about me, but I'm a big, I used to collect a lot of pins growing up, so I actually have a small pin collection. So when I saw all the pins here, I just had to. Let me just go. I got this Shin Chin Chin. Here, let me go a little closer. The Shin Chin Chin pin, so cute. This little pin, I think this would go really well on something denim. This pin also I think would look good on a denim jacket. Got a little Super Mario. Very nostalgic. Got this. Miyazaki and the Powerpuff Girls. There was honestly so much more. There was like Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. There was like Homer Simpson. These were all around three dollars each. So again, I think the same pen if sold somewhere else would be maybe double or triple the price. And then I got this cute little keychain my sister because she likes collecting keychains. I was born in the year of the pig. So I thought this is a cute little keychain to give her as a reminder of her older sister. Oh, more socks. Actually, before the socks, I got this really cute hair clip, hair claw clip. It says, ha 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 ha, and then a smiley face here. So this is one of those things where I could just pin my hair back up. You see it? It says, ha 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 <laughs> And of course, I got more socks. These are longer socks. Got a nice polka dot one. Smiley face. Smiley face number two. Smiley face number three. Smiley voice number four. And I plan on giving two of these socks as gifts as well. This is really cute. I think I once received a pair of socks as gifts and I still have them to this day. I have been wearing those socks, you know, wearing and washing them for the past like over 10 years. But yeah, I, a friend gave them to me and I plan on returning her a pair of socks 10 years later. Oh yeah, from the shops, we received some really cute free postcards as just like little add-on gifts. Honestly, a lot of the vendors here are all super nice. If you buy a lot from them, be sure to always also ask if they have any discounts. Don't really do heavy bargaining because a lot of these are all local street vendors. So I don't like to do heavy bargaining, but at the same time, if you ask for a discount, they almost always will give you a discount, sometimes up to 15%. So be sure to ask that, you know, because save some money for some of the food at the night market. Oh, one more. This was more of an expensive purchase because we bought this at the mall and it was like a Japanese hype brand. But I got this little really cool crossbody bag that has this like this feature that is kind of Asian mixed into the contemporary Japanese fashion. So I thought this was super cool. It's kind of just like, doesn't go with this outfit, but you know, it'll go with like a more hype outfit. I got that duty free. They took a while, like the concierge took a while. So as a sorry, they actually gave me another free gift from like a, like a waterproof tote bag that I will be using today when I go to the hot springs. All right, that is everything I bought in Taiwan in the past five days. I hope you enjoyed that video. And honestly, next time when I come here, I think I'm just gonna try and like not spend a lot of money and just come here and just haul a bunch of accessories and 
cute things. Honestly, this place is really dangerous, especially for a hoarder like me. There's a lot of cute little knickknacks and little souvenirs. Really great place to buy little gifts for your friends to take back. And obviously the food here is amazing. I'll probably make a separate episode on food entirely because there's just too much content to go over. But that will be all for this video. Like I said, I'll have other videos come out on food and my hotel stay and my other day trip experiences. So stay tuned for that. And as always, this is Zangsta. Like, comment, and subscribe. Over and out. Thank <laughs> you.